Hello everyone and welcome back to Shadowrun Returns. I am Nardagraf. When we last left off, we had just been through one of the worst plants I've ever seen. And today, we are here in the janitor's office. We are going to, to grab ourselves a little janitor suit. And infiltrate with the last three offices. So let's go. Not much combat actually in this part, as you will see. The supervisor has the look of a stuffer shack manager with delusions that he's on a career track. Rather than what it is, a disposable dime a dozen resource. Hey, there you are! I'm Steve Scott. I'll be your Steve Scott. I'll be your direct supervisor. Sorry I missed you when you first came in, but I only found that you were starting an hour ago when you suddenly showed up in the system. We glitch or something. Normally, we'd watch an orientation trade and watch for a mission statement, but... Well, it's going to be hard for you to... For you on your first day, but you're going to need to clean out some blood. Maybe a lot. What? Do you up there people's This is what I do. You will have your hands full. There was some sort of breaking last night. Some people were, um... Just got things cleaned up on the floor. Listen, people are going to be on action today, so try to stay invisible and don't get into any trouble. Otherwise, you're going to call me, and I'm going to have to reprimand you and put you on out on a file. Turn up this floor and stay out of trouble. Got it. I hope they get whoever did this. Only a fool would attack the last co corporate office and think they can get away with it. Start heading down the room and clean what needs cleaning. Good luck and welcome to the last room. Oof. I just like to point out I had about 28 karma that I used up. I used up all on dodge because enemies coming up will use mostly physical attacks. So you'll see. Starting out, as the Telestrian attack jockey turns to speak, you notice a panel has been removed from one of the land racks just behind you. <sighs> Thanks for coming. Can you believe it? So the star is calling an intrusion, but I know the aftermath of a shadow run when I see it. It's dark. Over in the corner, make sure you don't get any solvents in my server. So, Ka, I get it. You never get the straight dope around here, huh? Well, that's at a big sigh while shaking his head in agreement. I get it. So the star was already in here, hounding me like a matrix that could have stopped a decking intrusion. And I've got to execute a full diagnostic on the land rack before he comes back for his security report. He told me this would be a good opportunity to demonstrate the Telashian corporate value of efficiency. I think this investigation is going to be more about who to pin this on and about finding the answers. Well, do you think you could deck out of the smoke or something? It would be easier if I didn't have to clean around you. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no problem. Just another day in paradise, right? Yeah, this will make a lot easier to do what we have to do. Which is, I, I don't like, you can actually without Charisma solve this by choosing the right dialogue path. The open panel is a rest nest of cable have to disassemble hardware, some of it is loose. Take some of the lump parts, we're gonna need this for the later. And this is what we need to use. Remove the access panel for the panel and place a comlink chip. The access panel comes off with a quiet pop and you place a chip inside. Yes, that's exactly what we needed to do. We gained two karma, which is good. I think I have three now. Yeah, three karma. There's nothing in this room, the room we hold up in. I don't remember it being this much of a mess when we left. Honestly. Uh, I mean, yeah, there were some bodies, but not that much of a mess. The two men are starting to the vent and shaking their heads. Look, Ro. I know you, I know, and you know that there's nothing in the vent, but when I told that to Silverstar, he accused me of not wanting to crawl in there. So I was letting the company down by not displaying the corporate, corporate value of duty. The, shoot, the suits should love their mission statements and all that drag. But today is the day for Telestrian Corp's duty above all crap. Several of us did the ultimate duty last night. I guess we should be happy, Mr. Triad. Telestrian is not here today. I'm just getting there and take another look. I have to go upstairs to report. Oh boy, I don't, even though there are the vents, I've never really found a way to crawl into the vents. Well, 
few cigars, looking at an open vent, he's clearly not enjoying the idea of climbing back into the duct. <sighs> Sorry I attacked the track all over the floor. Shakes his head. Man, I can't believe what happened to the Night Watch. From what I can tell, it looks like our guys got hit pretty hard. He shakes his head. Yeah, they chilled through, the, through those guys pretty good. Most of them pros. So do you think you're done climbing the vents, Chummer? I need to get this room done before I get in trouble. If anyone asks, you saw me in there, okay? Yeah. As long as you show sympathy to them, towards them, you can do the charisma too. That might be a problem for classes like Trolls and Arcs, I don't quite remember how much the charisma score starts at. But as long as you show sympathy for them, you know, the corporate life and all that, you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever dealing with them. Let's just on the common ship. And there's nothing else here. See, I, I can click on the on the thing, the vent. On here, though, there's nothing after this, so you don't have to go ahead. <coughs> I have to say, at this point, it's not looking good. I don't know how it happened. Nonetheless, a record show this terminal was left to secure in direct contravention of the last corporate policy. You failed your duty. Oh, oh, I skipped accidentally. Sorry. Perhaps when Mr. Sylvester gets his next promotion, there will become a value for your data pushes as well. Right now, it seems our value is clock out early and ignore my responsibilities. Don't go anywhere. I need to make my report to Eric. That guy just got chewed out hard. Let's talk to him. The wage slave is on the edge, he's staring vacantly at his terminal with his hand to his face and his fingers twitching nervously. What, what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Looks like you're in some real trouble, Tremor. Boss, unless you can clean up a shattered career, leave me alone. Came across some items that might help you out. Shakes his head, I doubt it. You know the guy who said, life isn't fair? He was talking about me. Heh, <laughs> me too, I used to be accounting a few floors up, a few too many drinks at the Christmas party and look at me now. I mean, I didn't want this to happen. I mean, hell, who would? Security is bullying you, but I could make it look like our terminal was tampered with and no one would be the wiser. Right, there is no reason I should let security push me around if he steals himself. Just do it quickly. Yes, we're gonna touch his terminal and throw it to the floor. Thanks so much, don't forget this when your review comes up. Hey, no problem, sir. Just glad I could help. Would you mind cleaning out here for a while? There's a lot to do. Thank you. You bet. They forgot a comma there. Just remember to keep this between us. Yes, I will. <laughs> now we're gonna see you again. Now it's just a matter of coming over here and using this terminal, which is the last one. The access panel comes off with a quiet pop, and you quickly install the common ship. So we got pretty much done with the Telashian's office, I still don't have quite enough to get the next level of dodge. So... What can I do for ya? I need to get upstairs, my supervisor says there's more cleaning to do. Top floors may only be accessed with the express authorization of Varric Silverstar, or VP of security. You can head to the lower frost floors if your supervisor wants. Hey, I found these chips on some of the matrix switch boxes. Is that important? The word thinks for a moment and activates his comlink. He turns his back on you and has a brief conversation. Then he turns back. Mr. Stilvich does want to see you in his office immediately. Yeah, that's the key to getting upstairs. Here we are, the Telastrian office. It's the, the Silver Star office. It's right over here. We just need to get talking to this guy. There you are. She says some of my best are letting me down, and it's good to see that you are displaying one of the most important of my three key values. Well, sir... Well, it's duty above all, right? He laughs. Well, yes, there is the first value, I'm glad more than those outside of security follow it, and for my janitor, no less. No, I am speaking of my third and final value of Vigilance, which seems to be sorely lacking around here. We prefer a building man. Uh, thank you, sir. <laughs> Better. Not be snappy with him. Well, we are some pretty friends must give where required. Now please start filling out and report on the day of bed. And I'm afraid I must ask you to not sit in my chair given your attire. I need to go ahead downstairs and investigate your findings. I'll be right back. 
So to the the if you remember the values, it's to the above all. Oh, well, so these paintings must be what all those paints deliveries were. We don't have much time. I'm gonna check and see the status. He has already stepping off the elevator. I don't think our disguise will hold him much longer. I'll update on his movements. Hurry, mon ami. I don't quite remember the values. To be entirely honest, he shows profile of three elves in the Telestia security uniforms looking towards a flag flying the Telestia logo. The flag rates duty. Well, the first value is duty above all. And if I remember correctly, Vigilance is the second one. Yeah, he's gonna be talking, so I mistook. I don't quite remember the values. As you can see, the the bookcase is moving. Dependence? Nah. Oh shit, I clicked away from the window again. Okay, push up three. Efficiency. And now, I think it's this one. Vigilance. Okay, now that we got all of, of the things, let's... Actually, I, I need to use the safe first. Okay, now we can... We gotta be fast, you gotta be fast, they are coming back. Let's pick up the half smoke cigar and run towards this. I don't know what happens if you fail. Honestly, it never happened to me. But if you put the end out of my cigar, we are going to take the sample. Get work, one of me! The time for stuff has passed, it has set off every alarm in the system. What's up with him? He was supposed to take care of all of this. But I have unlocked an ex executive elevator and your path is clear. Head to the elevator and make your escape. Yes, I will. He was supposed to take care of all of this. Yeah, well, everything goes wrong. You see what I mean when I meant he's an awful hacker? I can't go in there. I can go anywhere I want to. You're not the boss of me. No one in this place is. The shadows are my boss. Let's go. Let's go. Here we have the, the thing, the elevator. We go down. Oh crap, of course. That def Detective McCluskey stands smirking, surrounded by armored and twitch Lone Star officers. Come on, moron! Oh god, I don't think my trophy is good enough for me to do his voice. <clears throat> good morning! <laughs> good morning, Detective McCluskey. It's a fun day for police corruption, isn't it? This Merrick Brothers. That's right, Jimmy! Keep flopping our jaw! The sort of thing will be perfect of where you're going! Mr. Gillette was watching a Jewish person! Must chat about last night, fun and games. You come along quietly, or you can meet them in a body bag. Come on, drag for brains, make the wrong choice. That's the best I can do. Because we don't have my throat this, sorry. I'm going, but one day, you and I are gonna have a round around my class I'm calling on you, that's hot. Huh. So we have to go with him. Okay, so this is the Telestrian mansion. Let's talk to the butler. The fussy of the Arab Victorian butler studies you before he speaks. He doesn't like what he says, I bet. Mr. Telestrian is expecting you. You will find him in his office. Thank you, Jeeves. <laughs> He's not amused. Delighted to be of service. You may wait here for a few moments to gather ourselves before you enter Mr. Telestrian's office. Some people find that they need time to prepare themselves before meeting enough of his stature. However, the upstairs is off limits to you, and the library is occupied at the moment. Do not tarry, though. Mr. Telashian is not one to be kept waiting long. Okay, then. Huh. Let's look at this place. Algernon? What are you doing here? What the hell? There is a twinkle in Algernon's eye that wasn't there when he spoke at the Simstresses Union. It's good to see you again, man. There is much to do. <coughs> you run some pretty different circles, don't you, Algernon? I do not run at all, North. I go what I am needed. I am needed here. 
Seek me out after you have spoken to James Celeste. Perhaps I can be of service again. Yeah, you can't, because I'm not a mage. Sorry. For now, you're just gonna go to speak to Mr. Telastrian, seems to be the best case. There is nothing I find here, though, so... Let's talk to Telastrian. As you approach, James Telastrian III looks up from the computer screen, built into the surface of his desk and assesses you. Calculating in code, a practiced smile comes to his face. He vies with the kind of rage you don't get from Trivet. It's not the clothing or the trappings or the bow before your batters. Mention, it's something else. The feeling that you're being categorized as a resource or a liability or a pawn. I have been reviewing the results of your visit to our Seattle Fs last night. Admit, you're impressive. You have gathered a considerable amount of damage to my office complex. Killed or wounded many of my security personnel. Cost my vice president of security his job. In 24 hours, you have accumulated quite a bill with me, sir. How do you intend to settle your debt? If you had carpet, well, we could promise something <laughs> for him, but I'm just gonna snap at him. Would you take a check? I understand humor. I do not appreciate it, but I understand its uses. Yours was not a good use of humor, however. You neither charmed me, disarmed me, disarmed detention, nor infuriated me to the point of providing you with a quick death. Before you attempt any more of your lowbrow monkey shines, we'll let out our, your tactical situation. You have one piece of information which you might use as bargaining chip in the little time you have left to live. Why you took what you took. I am interested to know why you and your team of criminals fought your way through my security teams up to my private office to access the matrix and uncover the location of a simple research project. It goes like this. Your half-brother, so what? Hard me to find his own killer. He has a dead man switch. When I find a killer, I get paid. Impress me, sir. My father's bastards are intentionally not well known, even to themselves. Nevertheless, I fail to see the connection between the Sam Watts' death and a raid on one of my office's buildings. There is no connection between the research project and the dead man that I'm aware of. Sam was killed by your half-sister Jessica. Jessica is protected by giant bugs. I just kill giant bugs. Kill the bugs, kill Jessica, I get paid. I find your bluntness somehow refreshing. He touches a button on the desk. Mr. Quoth, please ask my daughter to join us. Your daughter- Whoa, look who it is! The young pre elf has dark circles in her eyes and a hot expression on her face. She recognizes you instantly. It's you! And again with the same voice for every woman! You're the man who helped me escape from the Universal Brotherhood! How did you get here? Thank you, Mary Louise! <laughs> what this voice? What's that voice? Thank you, Mary Louise! You have confirmed the identity of your rescuer and given me reason to forgive him for his trespasses against me. She looks hungry for your help. I'm glad you're here. Good to see you got out okay, Mary Louise. I'm not okay. I can slip at all. I'm afraid that this, this is a dream that will wake up there and still be there with the box. You can relax, Mary Louise. You are safe. It is over. No, it won't be over until they're all dead. She shudders. You didn't see them. You don't understand. You and those men, you flew in there. Are you doing stock? It's just like a former committee father. I knew that someone had to take action. That's why I got Hakim involved. The already called exterior of James Celestia tur turns to ice. I see. It was you and your crippled little friend who leaked the Aggies to this man. We will speak of it later, in private. Now then, Lord, there are people I wish you to meet the committee my daughter will to. It's a rare opportunity for a man of the streets such as herself. I urge you to behave. We will adjourn to the library. I'm not really the committee joining sort of guy. It's just that. No one suggests you join them, nor that you are worthy of doing so. You are attending a briefing. Now come with me and watch your tongue. Ooh. There is a weight intellectual library, a sense of magnitude and of purpose. That you are no longer in the presence of mere wealth, you are in the presence of history. Damn, son. I have to talk to Telestrian, I'll be okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Nord. He is the human who saved my daughter, and the only one who has faced our common enemy in combat. Her Brackhouse. What does the presentation representative of the Great Dragon love for have to tell us about the magical insect? This shadow running covered. Breckles appears to speak slowly with a deep melodious German accent. He takes his time, accentuating each word, polishing each vowel and each consonant, testing them as if they were, as if they were the lex a delicacy. Oh god, this is gonna be awful! My Lord Lothwood has witnessed the insect spirit's physical manifestation before. Roughly 19, 
9,000 years ago, as you are aware. Magic apps and f magic ebbs and flows from there, cycling from peak to peak over the course of 5,200 years as the level of magic grows. Hans, dear, I love you, but you couldn't dabble on forever and believe time is of the essence. The painted elf addresses you. Nor is it delighted. The bug you fought was not merely a magically awakened animal like a wyvern or a hydra or anything else in the sixth world. In fact, it is then from this world at all. It's the physical embodiment of an insect spirit from another plane of existence. Huh. I imagine the movie from one plane of existence, so another isn't easy. Correct! Perhaps this German could tell you all about it. Then someday, you've got plenty of time to cheat you. Now an insect spirit can simply tumble right or through astro space and show up on Earth late of dinner. Dinner in this case, be nice! Two elements are required to break one across the void, a shaman and a host. Find the spirit calls upon a shaman, often in dreams the spirit seduces the shaman with promises of great power. The shaman then attends the spirit of this totem, next the insect spirit requires a suitable host. The best candidates are the disaffected and the disenfranchised, the swarf, the weak willed. Their minds are the most susceptible to suggestion, which is helpful in making the transformation, as you may imagine. These are the worst sort of people easily attracted to a cult, such as the Universal Brotherhood. Finally, by performing what has to be a truly disgusting ritual, the shaman serving the insect tilt and bless the spirit of the host. Willing or not, then it's fitting time. Ahem. <clears throat> the power! Are you quit? <laughs> it's correct. The insect spirit will then slowly consume its host. What is forming it? into the spirits of own sexual body does make it fasting itself fully into on this plane. I don't think I can pronounce every word like he does when my nose all backed up. What's this have to do with the great dragon and an elf who likes, com who likes cosmetics? Funny kid, but it's no laughing matter, this is bigger than hunting down an insect shaman or putting, found, or putting a few 9mm rounds into a bag. Initial bugs, prepare for the nest and the summoning of a queen. Once the nest has its queen, the shillery explodes with nearly many fasted insect spirits. They swarm out into the nest, feasting on all the flesh they can find and planting more insect spirits into the flesh corpses. Again, and again, and again. The room falls silently as they all consider the scenario. The scenario faces green. The last room breaks the silence. This is not an infestation, Art. It is an invasion. My lord Hlothward knew this day would come, but he did not know precisely when nor where. Your rescue of Mr. Celestian's daughter was has put the existence of an insect spirit for the first time in the circle of the world. Then why don't you just fire a cruise missile at the Brotherhood and call it a day? You have, en you have engaged the enemy. You know why. The insect spirit is only a resident in the transformed host's body. Conventional weapons can hurt the body and expose the spirit. But the spirit itself was on two planes. It cannot be destroyed by mundane means. means. And it's Project Diaries. Heart Celestian bio Biotechnology and Agricultural Divisions work with my Lord Lothwish, some manuscript engineers, and design Project Aegis to destroy an instant spirit. Once it is released from its hold, the formula and flu a fluorescent astrobacterial strain, all the big words, man, exists in the physical and astral plane, at once and can thus affect the insect spirit. Now, that was a mouthful. Did you memorize it? Or are you reading off index cards? I like that guy. My director of R&D, Dan Ravenwood, who explained how Project Aegis, Aegis, I think it's Aegis, will be used in a field Dr. Ravenwood. A weapon specialists have played prototype to deliver the device to the fluorescing astrobacterial strain. The freight is some prototype launchers with fire Aegis field shells, and fire the shells with dis which discharge a high velocity stream of the bacteria. In order to destroy one of the bugs, but prefer the damage using conventional weapons or magic, to the spirit is released from the host body, then the insect spirit must be shot with the Project Aegis prototype launcher to destroy it. Uh, so in order to stop an invasion of insects from another dimension, a dragon and an elf co-created a magical insect side. Huh. Crudely put, but accurate. We must stop the Universal Brotherhood from summoning a queen. We must stop them immediately. You are the only one who has been inside the facility, the only one who has personal foresight these creatures before. That, along with your highly effective assault upon my property, in the case that you are the ideal person to lead the attack. Uh, I'm flattered. The, paint, the painted elf grins and his red lipstick catches the line. You should be. Come on, kid. 
When Faith taps you on the shoulder, you gotta pay attention. Importantly, she has a nasty habit of tapping you on the opposite shoulder so that when you turn around, she's on your other side, giggling like a deranged schoolgirl. I hate that. Enough. Are you willing to undergo this mission, Nord? You have me killing a bug. Show me how to use Aegis and I'll be and I'll get it done. Excellent. He claps his hand as if get of seeing the circus for the first time. I love the way the shot lives are willing to die even faster, it's very inspirational. There is one final note, a warning if you will. You have seen the danger the insects represent, but you have not witnessed the shaman's power. The shaman must step into a powerful source of magic in order to summon a queen. We do not know what abilities that power source will grant. Beware of the insects, but do not underestimate the charm. Hey, don't scare the kid, Hassa. So we still need to need him to go on a mission. By the by, I'm coming with you, Nord. I wouldn't mind seeing these creatures for myself. I missed him last time. The last ones will bankroll you so you can hire the rest of the team. Find me when you are ready to go and we'll bug right out of here. He sighs. You have to speak with Harlequin when you are ready to depart. If you wish to acquire additional supplies for your mission, find my assistant Squaw. He's highly resourceful. So we're gonna talk to this Quaff guy. For a second. Because it has a couple of guns that I want. Trust me, you wanna bring all the firepower you can get to this mission. Show me the gear. Yeah, I don't have a data jack, so I can't take this. Actually, I don't think... I thought 19 was the highest damage pistol. I guess I was wrong. Ah, it happens. I'm not gonna take any grenades, since I'm not really that good at using them. Show me the outfits. I guess I could get... I won't. Leave it. Well, I have the best armor I could get, and I have 15 karma to spend, so let's see. I can't master dodge yet, so we're gonna leave that hanging for a while. Let's leave it off here. On the next episode, I'll be finishing up talking with everyone in here, and I'll see you guys then. Who's the flip side? <laughs>